Hey YouTube, it's like Bennett here. So, we're gonna talk about VHS like, like we always do. Uh, today though, I wanna talk about something that was not, like, gameplay related, really. And it's something that might be considered sacrilege. But uh, honestly, I think the monetization in VHS is handled extremely well, personally, for a free-to-play game. I never feel shafted or anything like that, or forced like I have to buy anything. There's a lot of free things. Uh, the, the flux constantly flows at a decent rate, I would feel. I feel like I get enough out of my time for this game. But I do want to say that the store needs a little bit of fixing. And I know, I once again, this might be sacrilege to say, but I think the store is too small. Well, the current store we have is this image right here. So there's three big cosmetics and then one smaller one and then the daily flux. Uh, they're on a rotation of about every two days to one day, not giving exacts, just give or take. And I don't think this is enough. The reason why is, uh, there's a lot of items in this game that just don't show up in the store because it's on a constant rotation. You can't just buy what you want. And I think that's the only problem I have with it is the FOMO. And I understand why they do the FOMO and I don't have a problem with it inherently. My biggest issue is that I feel like it could be fixed slightly. And this is a concept by Indy uh, that I found on the Discord. It was posted about a week ago or so. He also posted it on Twitter. And all it's really doing is just adding three more slots for smaller items, uh, maybe some cheaper ones, just so they can rotate sooner. And I really do think it's just the simplest solution is just, just add more slots. Devs, if you're listening, like honestly, a lot of us want to give you our money, but sometimes stuff we want isn't there. And I think adding more slots or more rotations could be a good way to kind of start that process out. Also, I would maybe look into making some of the cosmetics not FOMO, just some, not all. Once again, I understand your business and, and, and FOMO does help with, with forcing people to, not forcing, that's the wrong word, but encouraging people to buy more money, more things because, oh, it won't be there tomorrow and I don't know the next time it's going to be there. Uh, maybe having more things in a collection style that can be bought. So maybe having some things like uh, like the Valentine's events where you could buy the whole set or you could wait a few weeks and they'll be back individually. Uh, maybe keep the sets as permanent fixtures in the store that you can buy fully or you can wait for them to actually show up in the store to buy individually. Uh, maybe with flux and things like that. Maybe keep the bundles cash only or fan bucks or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, nothing real big. It's just a tiny thing. Uh, I don't think it's like a game changer or a killer or anything. But I do think it, it would actually, in the long run, help help it make some money and encourage us to maybe buy some more things. Maybe it would help people feel motivated to actually get other cosmetics that they normally wouldn't. Things like that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts below as always. Um, I know this isn't the biggest deal in the world, but I just kind of want to talk about it as always. Uh, remember, I stream on Twitch. You know, if you ever want to talk to me live, I read all my comments and stuff like that. But yeah, have a good one, everyone. And uh, yeah, bye.